12 months ago, I decided to embark on a weightlifting journey and all while staying on 100% vegan, primarily raw foods with lots of my calories coming from fresh, whole and ripe fruits. What happened to my body? Stay tuned, this is what I'm talking about in this video. Hi there, it's Ruti Mama Yule here, nutrition and lifestyle coach at Rossum Healthy and I'm so excited to talk to you about my weightlifting transformation. Now, first and foremost, I must admit that I've never been a weightlifting girl in the past. I used to be into endurance sports, so before I started weightlifting, I was actually raising a child who was, uh, when I started weightlifting, a daughter Eleni was only a year and a half. So prior to that, I was doing some interval training, some body work, and before I became pregnant with a daughter, I did a triathlon and I used to run long distance races. So weightlifting for me was something that I would do on the side, perhaps 20 minutes, two to three times a week. So I became inspired to start lifting weights. Now, there are two reasons for it. First, I was still holding on to some postnatal weight. And although I was in my healthy weight, prior to me becoming pregnant, I was at a 16% body fat and I really missed this incredible lightness, this beautiful slim body that I had. So I thought that weightlifting was going to give me an opportunity to get back into shape and to shift some extra body fat that I wasn't able to shift even though I was doing interval running and interval cycling. So I just thought to introduce weightlifting as well. So I started following a program where you focus primarily on full body type of uh, weightlifting. So for example, deadlifts and Romanian deadlifts and barbell squats. So lots of barbells and only some dumbbells. So primarily barbells. And I was lifting weights initially four times a week for about 45 minutes to one hour. And I had to drop down to three times a week because four times per week was making me feel way too tired. Not only I had to adjust to lifting weights and I was lifting heavy weights, the so kind of obviously the weights that I was able to lift, but they were heavy. They were much heavier than the kinds of weights that I've lifted before. So my body had to do a lot of adaptation and the first month was the month when I felt very tired. So I decided to drop down to three times per week and mainly due to my schedule as well and the time that takes me away from my family and other commitments that I have. So when I dropped down to three times per week, I felt a little bit more energy, uh, but I was still feeling a bit tired and I just understood that, okay, this is the adaptation I have to go through. So I, I made sure I looked after myself and I still carried on with my other activities, with my cardio activities, but I just took it easier otherwise. Now, diet-wise, I haven't changed anything. I kept eating all the foods I cared for and I haven't restricted my calories. Calorie restriction is just not for me. I know that you can get faster results, but I'm a breastfeeding mama and I need to eat what I feel like eating. Also, I know that what I eat is super nutritious and super healthy and because I focus on fruits and green leafy vegetables, these foods are actually lower in calories per bite if compared to the majority of dense cooked foods and especially animal products where you get a lot of calories. So I focused on having nutritious, high fiber, high nutrient foods and I actually averaged during the first month, I tracked everything I was eating, 2600 calories, so 2600 calories and I started noticing how I was able to lose weight. So over the next 12 months, I followed the program and I can tell you, I didn't always feel like going to the gym and lifting weights, but that was set in stone and I would turn up for the gym and lift weights for about 10 weeks and then I would have a week off weights when I would do more cardio and just play and do some body weight exercises and it was really nice to have that rest week. And then I would go back to weightlifting 
three times per week. So fast forward to where I am 12 months onwards and I have to say, I'm so absolutely grateful that I committed to weightlifting. It has changed my life in many, many ways. First, I feel incredibly stronger, much, much stronger in my body. So we've got our nearly two and a half year old daughter who I have to pick up and lift and carry and you know there's other objects that you need to pick as well and some of them are heavy and I feel just how much more strength I have to just this lightness to my body this 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 strength to my muscles to pick things up so that's one of the benefits the next benefit is I feel incredibly more focused and stronger in my mind and uh, it's definitely something that I am very grateful for for weightlifting. The next benefit is that I've lost quite a bit of weight so I'm slimmer and I am so much more defined. So here is where I was 12 months ago when I first started lifting weights. And here is where I am now, 12 months onwards, and you can see that I've definitely got much more toned body and my arms are more toned and my belly is a lot more toned. And I can tell you that I really like it. I just really like the new body that I have created for myself. Now, if you're thinking whether you should be doing body weight work exercises or lifting weights, I would definitely recommend you lifting weights because from my personal experience, weight lifting is much more effective and the way it builds your body and builds your muscle is, is much more powerful if compared to body weight exercises. Although I know people do get great results with body weight exercises too, but in my personal experience, I had to lift weights. Now, weight lifting has incredible benefits for your body. It helps you with achieving healthy and natural weight loss. It helps you with uh, maintaining your healthy metabolism. It also helps you with blood sugar levels, with creating healthy bones, and it also helps you with creating strong muscles. So you will have a stronger back and that will help you to prevent back injuries and other injuries. And of course, also, if you're into endurance sports, you will also notice that you'll be able to sprint faster because you will have this incredible power in the body. You will have built muscles in your body to go for it. So I absolutely recommend you getting into weightlifting whilst at the same time eating super healthy raw foods. And just weightlifting is not something that I did over the last 12 months to get into my current shape. It was a complete system, health system that I followed. So, with this in mind, I'm very excited to invite you to our upcoming free webinar called Seven Steps to Rebalance Your Health and Weight with Raw Foods. So, you will get a very clear structure uh, that you can put into your life right away and then bring weightlifting into it as well to experience even greater results. So, all you need to do to register for this webinar is to follow this link and then save the date and time into your calendar. Set up a reminder so you don't forget about this incredible event. It's going to be an action-packed webinar. You will get a worksheet just before the webinar as well. So you can fill it in and then walk away knowing the strategy that you're going to be applying into your life to boost your energy levels, to lose weight and to feel amazing. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. I would love to ask you about weightlifting. Do you lift weights? And is it body work, body weight exercises that you do, or is it weightlifting and what changes have you personally gone through as a result of weightlifting? So post your comments below, post your questions below, give this video a thumbs up, feel free to share it with other people, and especially with people who believe that in order to grow muscle and be able to lift weights and be able to become lean you've got to eat animal products which you don't of course and you've got to restrict yourself in calories which i have not done at all over the last 12 months so 
Thanks again for watching. It's sweet, keep fit, and we will see you again in our next video. Ciao for now! 12 months ago, I decided to bark and bark and bark. bark. <laughs> 12 months ago, I decided to bark. To bark. <laughs>